Thank you to BioReconstruct for these photos for today's Universal Orlando Resort construction update. Now, I have never actually done this before, but today we are doing a construction update across every construction site around the entire resort. So, here's a picture of Epic Universe, How to Train Your Dragon Land. You could also see some Starfall Racers, Classic Monsters Lands. You can see some cool stuff here. So, for here, this is an aerial photo, and it's really high up, so you could see, like, a lot. You could see, um, you can see a lot. You can see the How to Train Your Dragon Kitty Coaster. Starfall Racers, if you look in the really top corner, you can see it. It's just rumored to be named Starfall Racers, though. Here you can actually see the facade for the entrance to How to Train Your Dragon Land being built, the portal, basically. You can start to see the facade being built up more than last Here's another aerial photo where you can see How to Train Your Dragon Land and Starfall Racers, which looks really cool. This is a really nice photo that he was able to take. This looks so cool. Here he is the Helios Grand Hotel that is being built in the middle of the Epic Universe part, Park, which we covered in last update. Here's the Wizarding World that is being built. It basically looks the same as last update, and it's only been a one week difference from the photos. I just happened to see that BioReconstruct a day after added a construction update on his Twitter, so I had to, I had to, I had to do this, guys, it's for you to see. Here's the best aerial photo he got of the Wizarding World land. It looks really cool. Unfortunately, he didn't take any pictures of the classic monster land. Not sure why, but it start, it's starting to actually look like they're d breaking more ground on the land. It looks a little bit different from two weeks ago. A little bit more... Uh... Now for Universal Studios Florida, which is the only other park that is actually having construction going on right now currently. Um, soon when Poseidon's Fury actually closes at Universal's Islands Adventure, we'll have something to cover for Islands Adventure. But for right now, Islands Adventure doesn't have any work going on really because it's a perfect park <laughs> but universal studios florida from what we can see in this picture um the entrance is being refurbished like the top the ground not tile the ground is being refurbished and we can see some changes actually happening to the ground so far it just looks like dirt like there's nothing actually coming the entrance has been rerouted to the side of the building to towards a uh, moe's so I am really excited because we actually don't see what used to be at the entrance, which was Bart and his family on a little roller coaster thing, which is the ride vehicle. Now this, guys, this right here. Oh, my God. This is one of the things I'm most excited for. And actually, let me pull a picture up that I took of this. Side. Let me just pull it up. So if you wanted to see a ground view level, that's what it looked like. Um, but this is what it looks like from an aerial view. And guys, this looks so cool. Like, you can see how they took on the tile. Like, guys, not the tile, the flooring. But Fievel's Playland is gone. And Curious George and DreamWorks Destination, it's all gone, guys. Like, this is crazy to see. Like... It's dirt right now. Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster is still there, which I think that's a sign that it's just going to be rethemed. But it's crazy. I find this really crazy. And if you see, you can see that little blue line by E.T. Show Building. That's the fencing. So that's all we can access, actually, which is really neat. I really like this picture. Like, it looks really cool. I'm really excited to see what Universal has in store for this. Here we have Illumination Avenue which I have in a few videos been calling it Minion Avenue, but I had a comment saying that it's actually Illumination Avenue, and when I looked it up, I realized that it is true. So thank you for letting me know. But we have the Villain Con Show building, which used to be Shrek 4D right here, and basically what's rumored is that half of the show building will be used for the Villain Con ride, and the other half will be used for Halloween Horror Nights, just like the way it was with Shrek 4D. But now, um, there's also going to be Minion Cafe, which you can barely see, but if you see that blue fencing next to it, that's going to be Minion Cafe, which replaced Universal Classic Monsters Cafe, which was really cool. 
and to lap the video up on a smaller end, a water feature is going to be is under construction right now. We have no idea what they're going to turn it into. Um, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, that's under construction. But thank you guys for watching. And again, follow BioReconstruct on Twitter for the amazing pictures of what is being happening at University.